Welcome to China AMEC, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day everyone, my name is Kyle Yang, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested to migrate to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to our channel and turn our little bell on the side? So once we have all the updates and news, you'll be the first one getting all the insight. Now in this video, I'll following up with the previous video in regards to uh, skill assessments on medical lab uh, scientists. Now I've got to inquire uh, more of these medical field of people uh, who are interested perhaps to work, employ or migrate to Australia. So in this video, I'm like to discuss about radiographer. Uh, so uh, obviously, medical profession is not a very common topic, but when it comes to the complexity, obviously, you understand the qualification and studies is actually quite hard and take times and practices in order to become a medical uh, professionals. Uh, it's actually much harder than a lot of other different professionals out there. Uh, so it's a very niche topic that we're talking about here so let's jump into the first page which i always refer to the skill occupation list uh the page that you can actually google home affairs space skill occupation list and here what we have done is uh, i've punched in the uh, radiographers uh, uh, keywords here and we came out with the first one with the ANSCO uh, 251211 uh, the occupation name medical diagnostic radiographer uh, as you can see the this occupation is uh, actually uh, very good in in the sense of talking about uh, within the occupation list it's on the medium and long term skill occupation list uh, by means it could access all types of skill migration so can, as you can see, it access to 186, 189, that's all. Uh, 189 is uh, independent skill work. Uh, migration 186 is employer sponsor 190 state nomination 407 training 485 obviously if you study the course and the profession in Australia you'll be able to get your post uh, study work right there and you also can access to skill regional visa which is the newly appointed um, visa type uh, 489 is already abandoned but the new one should be 491 uh, most of the states will like these kind of medical professions to stay there uh, regional sponsorships and regional uh, skill employment so every single skill visas uh, could be accessed by the occupational medical diagnostic radiographer now you may not be um familiar with the skill assessing authority asmirt i am not familiar with this because uh obviously there are not a lot of radiographers out there uh, so that's the reason I wanted to do a, a video to actually uh, go through how the skill assessing authority and how it reflects back to the courses whether you study this uh, overseas or study in Australia you both have that advantage to be assessed as the medical diagnostic radiographer in order to actually get the visa or perhaps migrate in Australia so let's jump into the skill assessing authority so um now you can see that clear let me move that a little bit over uh it's the uh the full name of the assessing authority is australian society of medical uh, imaging and radiation therapy now um the image may be a little bit uh, you can't really see those words i mean i always like to comment on the website or how these authority had actually designed their website it doesn't really seem very clear as you can see overseas assessment up here um you might need to highlight that otherwise because the the image behind it with that uh all the different colors it make you very hard, make it very hard to actually be uh, visible anyhow let's get into the nitty-gritty here so uh, as you can see this is obviously assessments now by means it's assessing your qualification outside of australia uh, and also it includes international student uh, obviously um if you do study those courses in australia uh, you consider to be uh, under overseas uh, assessment now um, they should uh, just name it migration skill assessment rather than um, overseas assessment because as you can see here if I go back 
one page uh, you don't see there's other um, options there there's no migration skill assessment there's those only overseas um, assessments here uh, anyhow <laughs> doesn't really matter but what what it, it it does cover international students who study the course in Australia okay uh, they should they should rename that a little bit so it sounds much better so are you pl planning to pursuing career medical uh, radiation science in Australia and I apply for qualification again office institution click the below options below. so there is uh, four um, corners here that we gonna we will go through it uh, so let's um, go into the detail here the following instruction overseas applicant applying for overseas qualification wishing to practice australia with the discipline of diagnostic radiography medical imaging radiation therapy and ultrasound sonography okay overseas applicant uh who have graduated with asmirt accredited overseas a qualification wishing to practice in australia with the discipline of a diagnostic rad radiography medical imaging radiation therapy and ultrasound well i'm not too sure what how these two uh difference <laughs> anyway that's um going there you can actually write and inquire uh to this email there I, I think we'll if you are in that profession i'll definitely try to write to them because the uh, it sounds really anyway uh, let's have a look okay pre-approved courses accredited obviously courses uh, well basically the 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 redundancy of what they try and do and the web page design showing that there's uh, very limited people actually apply for this skill assessment obviously it's very niche not many people it's not a common study course or study uh, qualification that people uh, take uh, select the international program um, in the imaging technology and radiation therapy have been approved by ASMIRT uh, allowing graduates to obtain a survey assessment of their eligibility of credit accreditation these include degree uh, courses uh, from New Zealand only okay interesting so the uh the international program only <laughs> include new zealand there's no other countries um interesting uh, currently there are no other approved courses from any other country on the list oh interesting so how do they call this international anyway graduate from approved courses uh are able to apply via direct application uh so then that means you don't have to go through the uh overseas qualification assessments uh, that's what they're trying to say applicant using the pathway must be at least one year full-time uh, clinical experience in their country of origin before applying so again the assessments require that a postgraduates of the discipline to have at least 12 month practice experience to, uh, so to work experience in order to actually pass this assessment uh, graduate from AS AR approved courses are able to apply direct application as uh, ASMIRT recognition of ultrasound July 2020. So it seems like it's uh, quite new. It's a quite new. Okay. Um, please refer to the following link and English language, blah, blah, blah. So obviously you need the um, word reference letter, hours of how many hours you work per week, uh, all the nitty gritty that we have talked about many times in skill assessments, a uh, range of um, modality of perform during applicants employment uh, period, and obviously the names of the um, employer, the what, which clinic, uh, and signed by the department chief head of the department so your boss okay and it has to be a, a f official or formal organization or letter here so it cannot just be an a4 page came out with the pencil written down by your boss obviously no one would do that now uh, application involve uh, pre-approved courses will be deal with a shorter timeline that's pretty um, you know understandable obviously because they have pre-approved them uh, and the assessment fee is not a uh, 290 eight it's it's considerably uh cheap compared to a lot of other medical professions uh, uh assessment uh charges uh now migration assessment now interesting they call the uh, the above overseas assessment now they call these now migration assessment now i i don't really like how they design their web page because i don't understand the page is so wide and the contents are so squeezed in the middle uh, anyway i'll read it out and let you guys understand so um a migration assessment of australian society of medical imaging and radio radiation 
Therapy, A-S-M-I-R-T, is evaluation of qualification employment radiography, radiation therapy, and sonography for the purpose of migration to Australia. The following section contains information uh, related to, obviously, the skill assessing thing. So let's jump down here. Um, the diagnostic radiography medical imaging technology and all radiation therapy oh this is really hard to go around and speak that quick uh gang outside australia are not immediately accepted so what they're trying to say is they were not immediately accepted unless it's in accredited courses uh or recognized issue by the asmirt statement of qualification which is required eligible eligibility to asmrt uh, membership and by the Australian Department of Immigration Board. Of, uh, now it's called Department of Home Affairs. So as you can see, it's a it's an outdated uh, statement here. The ASMIRT statement of qualification corresponding to the skill assessment letter is required immigration purpose of. That's pretty obvious. Now they're trying to explain everything. So what they're saying is here uh, they can assess these three um, um, occupations or so medio diagnostic radiographer, radiation therapist, and sonographer. Uh, obviously, we have talked about that. Uh, to be eligible, okay, now, these are the two big points here. Let's have a read. Uh, must have a qualification gain. To be eligible uh, migrate to Australia, you must have a qualification gain outside Australia, assess equivalent to Australian standard time qualification. Now, interestingly, they say that, that what, what about you study, if you study this in Australia, obviously that will be, you know, deemed to be uh, equivalent to the Australian uh, qualification. So uh, the equivalent is at the undergrad, at the academic level plus a social clinical level. That's, uh, that's why they're saying the 12-month uh, uh, practices experience, uh, postgraduate, post-qualification education and clinical experience may be taken into consideration and uh, you're required to have a minimum IELTS of score band of each of four contents. So seven across, I'm sorry, did, did I say four? At base band seven, I'm sorry. Seven across four bands. Okay, so speaking, reading, listening and writing. The assessment is based on guidelines uh, from the National uh, Office of Overseas Skill Recognition Anyway, click here for more membership. The outcome, uh, the unconditional recognition, qualification gang outside Australia will be recognized as equivalent to Australian standard at the time of qualification and post-qualification -qual experience. It's also an acceptable standard. A statement of qualification will be granted a letter issued by uh, the ASMIRT. Now, conditional rejection. This, uh, this is why I um, uh, really recommend people to do skill assessment because uh, the the result of the assessment will actually tells you even if it fails it will tells you what you're required to do so they will tell you what um, other uh, things that's required additional uh, to be completed in order to pass uh, the Australian standards uh, obviously there's number three re rejection so that's basically telling everything you know it, it, it's not acceptable um, now the statement qualification um, that's just the assessment result that's standard as per all the other type of skill assessing authorities so there's not much of uh, it should come out with saying the result is positive or it's conditional rejections and things like that and uh, obviously english it's talking about uh, now people are asking whether they can take other type of uh english test is also acceptable for uh level b for oet and the band score of 65 for pte and for TOEFL, that's a score required 24 for lesson 24 for reading 27 for writing and 23 for speaking and they also accept CAE uh, and also uh, all the other ones uh, you can click on the link here and if you are not satisfied about the result you can always appeal in regards to the process so as you can see um, it's quite a, a standard um, a, a process for a medical um, uh, radiographer 
in order to actually get that skill assessment it's not as complicated as the uh, lab scientists uh, but the the uh, just uh, a little uh, confusions where <laughs> that page I just show you that's directly from uh, the home affairs web page <laughs> connected to ASMRT uh, uh, it says overseas obviously it, it does also accept the Australians qualification as well so again now if you're um, interested to become a um, sonographer radio radiographer uh, it's actually quite a good uh, profession so if you pick on the right courses study in the um, any any university that provide these kind of courses in Australia and uh, you again a PSW two years post study work right and while you're having that you can complete that 12 month of work experience then you'll be uh, able to actually uh, lodge this skill assessment with ASMRT uh, once that's done you, you're on your way to apply for your uh, skill migration so there's no um, complexity compared to lab scientists where they require additional uh, examination and things like that and two years of work experiences that's just making things a little bit harder anyway how do you feel about this profession uh, maybe you're interested about it uh, there's a, actually a very good career out there not just in Australia anywhere around the world uh, anyway what is your thoughts leave a comment right down below and I see you in the next video goodbye